Shall we start the class for today, sir? Or we shall wait for some more time. Hello. Can I come? We can start the session, sir. Yes, fine. Thank you. Good afternoon to uh, all the faculty and all the students who, are, uh, who have been uh, attending these uh, PDP sessions and involving in this IoT uh, IoT related uh, practical sessions we have done. So it's uh, sixth day, I think. Uh, we planned to have we had planned to uh, have only five days of session, but have extended one day for. Uh, uh, this week so today we will concentrate on uh, a new topic that is nothing but uh, protest simulation so uh, from the past five days we have been learning regarding uh, different types of hardware uh, different types of softwares different types of uh, iot platforms we have seen and we have seen the uh, coding parts schematics the different types of embedded board sensors so in this limited limited time we have uh, covered the most of the topics that will uh, uh, get you into the uh, IoT world. So, other than IoT uh, things, we have seen some other uh, things as well, like uh, displays, drivers. We have seen uh, many things. So, so for today, we'll uh, start the uh, session uh, in the core of uh, protest simulation. So, because uh, in previous classes we have seen practical session using hardware only. So, in this case, in, in case if you, if anyone, any student or anyone don't have any hardware. So in that case, if you want to implement, uh, even though in that case, if you want to implement uh, all the things which I have uh, explained you in the previous past week, uh, earlier days, so in that case, you, you can refer to protest simulation or else you can refer to Thinkercad or else you can uh, use uh, uh, different kind of uh, simulations like a Blink IoT or else a Wukui. So among them, we'll uh, have chosen one simulation platform which will uh, uh, which will be very uh, easy to understand and easy to learn, and uh, it's a most uh, most used uh, simulation in the market as well. So, we'll give you a brief introduction about what are the available uh, simulation softwares in the market, as well as after that we'll uh, start to uh, guide you and insist you in the uh, implementing this product simulation. So, for today's class, we have a, a new uh, resource person or uh, Chiran sir is here. So, he will uh, teach uh, teach you guys in this. Uh, Session. So he is expert in product simulation. So I will uh, hand, hand, hand over the class for today. To Chiran sir. Chiran sir, are you there? Yes, sir. So, so uh, you can you can start, start the session for today, sir. Okay. okay. Good afternoon to everyone. Hello. My voice clears to everyone, right? Yes, your voice is clear. Today we are going to learn about the different types of platforms to simulate the projects before doing it in a hardware. Thus, I will share the screen and I will show you what are the uh, simulation softwares and also the platforms which are there to uh, make your project in a virtual world. Wait a while, I'm sharing the screen. Hello. May I, may I? Audible for you. My voice is clear. Hello. Anyone? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can continue. Your voice is audible. Yes. 
Okay, before uh, going to the simulation softwares, there are some uh, softwares which are can be used in the web version. The first software is first uh, simulation website is the Wupi. Is a one of the simulator which can be used for simulation of IoT. Whether all the things, are the all the simulation softwares are not having the, the uh, making of IoT projects because they are should be connected to the servers. Here coming to the OP software, we are having the number of boards according to the programs. There are uh, we are having the boards regarding like Arduino boards, uh, ESP32 boards, STM32, and also we are having the mini version of the boards like uh, Arduino Mini Pro, Arduino Nano, or in the STMs also we are having the some other boards. I'll show you the projects regarding my projects. These are the boards. You can you can see here the categories of the boards here. The boards categories according to uh, their specifications. Here we can see. Uh, so first, I'm selecting some boards like Arduino. Wait, it's fine. You can see different types of boards according to their programmings. Here we are having the Arduino Uno R3 or Arduino Mega or Arduino Nano and also some uh, boards below to the Arduino like uh, Pro Mini or other boards and also you can use raspberry pis raspberry pi means uh, not a raspberry x or raspberries raspberry 3 or 4 we are only using the micro means uh, raspberry pi pico or raspberry pi 0 w these boards can be programmed because it was only developed according to their uh, boards which can be cable to connect to the things and also here we are having the esp boards do you know about esp boards the boards which are connect to the Wi-Fi means uh, which are the known as IoT boards are the uh, family of ESP32. Our uh, nodems will also be there, but the nodems was not developed in the WoW simulator. So he given only directly. He given also only the ESP32. ESP32 also having the many versions like ESP32 S3 or S4 or C3. They are coming to their different types of specifications with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enables. Uh, this is the one of the platform we can use in the web version without downloading the software. Right. Uh, going to the software, just uh, we will perform some blink LED or any program. When you select a board, when you are starting your project in this uh, UV software, it will ask the beginner template like a Arduino or a micro Python, whether you want to program in a Arduino or a micro Python. We can also program the Arduino or ESP or Raspberry Pis, anything using Python and also micro Python in also using Arduino ID. There are the different programming IDs to program the boards. One of the programming we'll use the basic version is the Arduino ID. I'm selecting the Arduino ID here. Because using this Arduino ID, we can program directly because we are using the from the last previous, we are only using the Arduino uh, language. So C language, we can use, easily program here. This is the worksheet. This is known as, in the simulation is known as workspace, whether you will uh, make the connections regarding the uh, boards. And it is the sketch where you uh, write the program. And this is the library manager where you want to add the libraries. This is the another thing is diagram.json. Uh, when you are coming to these uh, types of files, whether you are not having any modules, to create a modules, the OOP software is also giving the, the special version that you can create when you know about Java or JavaScript, you can create your own module here. Suppose when uh, thinking in Wauki simulator, Wauki software, not dozens have some specific sensors. 
specific sensors or modules like a GSM will be not available, GSM or GPS. Whether you want to make uh, any module, you can create whether you are having a JSON module of the uh, particular module like a GPS or GSM. Coming to the components, how to add the components. First, we are taking this board uh, like uh, ESP32. Just I want to make a performing of a blink LED. First, click on plus symbol. This is a plus symbol to add the parts. Parts means the components. So I'm taking one of the LED. Take LED. This is anode. Mm, connect to any of the digital pins. So I'm connecting it to my um, wish. I'm going to do pin number 18. Next, connect the ground to ground. And the, the special feature of the Uki software is when you are doesn't know the whether the modules are belongs to digital and analog, the, it will directly enables the pins of digital and uh, enables the pins of the analog when you are connecting. Now we'll write the code for the blink LED. Indicating the pin mode first and LED. LED is equal to pin number 18, right? Next, coming to pin mode. Pin mode. Sorry. Pin mode. LED pin. Make LED. LED comma. Output. After coming to the pin mode section, we are having the next is while loop, whether we write the function. Next, digital. Digital write. LED. Hi. I write the delay function. Next, same. Digital right. LED, comma low. After writing this, uh, we have to write the delay function. Next. Delay. Delay is almost 100. I'm making 1000. 1000 means one second. After that, save the program like LED blink or LED control, anything. Next, run the simulation.
the we wait until it get compiles you can see the led is blinking uh, by using not only leds we can also control the uh, things and also we can use the uh, making the uh, controlling of relays or the loads and also you can make the monitoring units by using the iot okay uh, when you are coming to the monitoring unit of iot there are the different platforms like uh, uh, blink uh, blink iot or uh, web servers or uh, things big servers this can be connect to the uki uh, software because they are runs in the back end this runs to the servers because these servers are connects directly connected to the web servers so uh, it will uh, enables in the form of virtual also i think uh, everyone understood regarding the blink led right and also whether you can also perform the load controlling system uh, using uh, blink also i'll uh, just i will open my project i will show you Oh, These are my projects. Here you are seeing in the screen that is home automation using the Blink IoT. That you want to make a home automations. Uh, also, you can use the uh, Blink app to monetize or to control the loads. This is a, one of the platform whether you can make the uh, IoT projects. And the next one is Thinkercad. When you can see this is the opening page of the Thinkercad, whether you can also perform the uh, projects using the Thinkercad. This is my project. You can see uh, things. But coming to the Thinkercad, the Thinkercad only can use the projects according to their offering, whether you can also not apply capable of these uh, IoT things. Because uh, it doesn't have the enable boards like ESP control or another boards. So it uh, doesn't connect to the Wi Fi. Can also only perform the regarding the projects like automations or uh, Arduino projects using this uh, Thinkercad. Next platform is Proteus. Proteus Eight. Here, now we are going to learn about the Proteus simulation software. Before going to learn this software, we have to install the software. Uh, go to the, go to this website and download the software. Regarding this software, you have to have the uh, institute uh, Gmail, college mail, college student mail will be applicable to uh, have the license one. That you want to uh, doesn't want to want to learn the 
the install the licenses you can also install the cracked version also whether you are interested click on try to free here we get a source download here uh, here we having one mail you have to uh, you go you have to go to the mail and you have to <coughs> make a request mail to download to download the software in the uh, free uh, trial version you have to compulsory you have to uh, pass a request message to regarding this mail to get the software in a uh, licensed one with your college mails i'm does i not uh, telling about the installation process we are having the less time so i'm directly going to the simulation software here i'm having the produce professional version my suggestion is to install the professional version is one of the good thing because you having the all the boards like arm 7 or uh, 8051 whether you can get all types of boards this is a dashboard of the project simulation my version is 8.9 also it got the new version of 15 8.15 go to files this is the files option this is the system and this is a help option whether you want to know about some any books and regarding the information of the installation process or the license you can take the help from the overviews and also having the one ai also will be available in the product simulation whether you want to ask any queries or regarding any help in the communities of the produce Coming to down, just click on new project. After whether you installed the cracked version or a licensed version, after the installation also you have to uh, install the all the libraries regarding the Arduino's and the uh, libraries of the each and every module. And also each and every module have the X file. First, I'm giving the name as Arduino or my project. My project. Default is asking that create a sketch template. Just I want to the sketch template, so I'm creating it. Just click on next. Uh, we are not making the PCB right, so I'm now clicking the option that do not create the PCB. Click on next. Whether you want to create any firmware, like you want to use any Raspberry Pi or Raspberry, any any Raspberry because when you want to ML and any programming related, you can use the creating firmware. Whether you want to select 805 and uh, Arduino's or uh, ARM7 AVR boards. Raspberry Pi, Picos, every will be available in the this simulation software like Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 3, Pi 4 or uh, Raspberry Pi 4 will come in the 8.15 version whether you can ever you're having the version of the produce in the 8.15 you will get the Raspberry Pi 4 because when the version is 8.9 so I'm getting the Raspberry Pi 3 only and also having the Raspberry Pi zeros or uh, uh, hats like uh, voice hats we can also install regarding the libraries when you're having the uh, version is very good so my thing is to install the uh, what are the previous version which be there in the market install the uh, software okay i'm not creating the no i'm uh, doing no famous projects because on, i'm using the audio right next click on the next option finish after Clicking all this, your project was created. Your worksheet is there. This is your worksheet. In this worksheet, we have to add the boards, right? 
to add the words we have to know the different types of tools what are the tools will be there what are the things we used here we are coming this is the selection mode when you place all the modules go to the selection mode to uh, do the wiring of the each and every module next coming to this this is the component mode in this component mode you have to able to search okay first i'm selecting the mode this go to the pick device the pick device you will get the different types of boards when uh, like audio boards uh, like micro uh, uh, like uh, sensors and everything next this is not useful for us this is a terminal option here we are not giving any supplies right to give the supplies we have to name that the these are the power pins and these are belongs to the ground and vcc so these are the terminal option in the terminal options uh, you can having the ground bus bus powers and outputs and the inputs and the default things the default things are are used to uh, connect the pins these are the graphs whether you want to make any graphs regarding uh, suppose i am measuring any voltage or any sensor data to mention any different types of graphs so there are the modules of the graphs and different types of frequencies coming to this this is the instrumentations means providing the uh, types of uh, suppose you are using any oscilloscopes or a logic uh, whether you want to perform any and gates or gates you can also use this instrumentations like we are having the whether you having measurements instruments subjects in this we are having the instruments like uh, uh, oscillators and also we are having the different types of uh, meter, voltmeters whether you want to measure the any supply regarding any sensors you can use the voltmeters and the other sensors and also we are having the one of the thing is virtual terminal we'll use a virtual terminal because uh, in the Arduino we have a serial monitor to see but either here uh, you are doing the simulation here we are not having the Arduino to uh, to the Arduino software to read right so we use the virtual terminal to display the data in like a same like as a serial monitor which has there in the Arduino software next These are the shapes, whether you want to create any shapes or uh, letters, any text. Next, one of the libraries. Here, we want, when, you, when you want to install any libraries, they're having a specific thing that you have to maintain the files. They're having the programming files. In this programming files, you have to install the libraries and you have to make it a file. And also in 8.9, having the additional feature that you can also direct import the parts by clicking on the import parts. Just you have to select the file where it is and just import. Now we will perform uh, one project. I will show you my uh, one of the project for you. I was having the different types of projects. Uh, one of the project is uh, regarding uh, Reading of sensors data. No, not it is. This is one of the my project. This is uh, based on the load controlling system using GSM. Before going to this direct project, just we will make the connections in the new one and we will see how to make the things to be happen. First, go to the pick device mode, the component mode. Select just I am telling the Arduino. 
go to hierarchy like categories according to the category select the Arduino. Uh, this I'm using the Arduino Uno, so I'm selecting the Arduino Uno. That's only part. You can see that the Arduino was added in our sheet. This is known as sheet, whether the components list. In the component list, we have we added the Arduino Uno. Next, we want to the next we are on we are performing the load controlling system using gsm so i will take the gsm here click on g s m okay you got the gsm i'm do uh, taking the red one because my favorite color is red so i'm taking the red one that you can also tell a green or a blue one uh before going to add this i want to tell you that you have to add each and every library to in uh to perform the simulation, correct? Uh, at the last session, I will, I will tell you how to add the libraries because the, when you are having the license one, you are doesn't even to add any libraries because the libraries are pre-built in the software. Some more uh, the libraries are uh, uh, having in the extra. We can also download from the GitHub whether you know about the adding of the libraries, right, in the Arduino. Same in the same way, you have to include the libraries uh, in the same way to adding the files, but we are not having the zip files. We're having the files like edx, uh, idx file and the template file to add the libraries. So I'm taking the red GSM. Next, we'll add LEDs. I think. Moment, yes. It is nice now. Okay, I'm taking Arduino here and yes. For rotation, click here and uh, have a rotation. So rotate, rotate, and After pasting the things, you have to do the wiring, right? Before doing the wiring, you have to connect the loads also. So connecting the loads, we are taking the LED, I'm taking the LEDs, whether you can have, also can take the relays or any modules. So I'm taking the loads as LEDs, LED. Coming to the LED also having the different types of LEDs. I'm taking here blue, Next, LED green color. I want the uh, red. Green. Take the LEDs and place it in a order. And also in the properties also you can edit like uh, green to red or red to green any values uh, whether selection of uh, things are not easy for you whether you can also change the colors in the parts of values also you can change the things whether you can also select from the different types and also i need a mode to so i'm taking mode to leds uh, like the color yellow and now one more color. Blue is not there. Blue is there. Green is there. Red, yellow also there. Break sure. Any another color? Okay. Blue, green, yellow, and white. Yellow. 
you can see we will add the different uh, types of LEDs. Go to the selection mode and move it. In a sequence, it is moved. Okay. After placing it in order, make the connections. You can see these are all belongs to the positive ones. These are all belongs to the negative ones according to the uh, LED connections. Make sure that connection should like uh, I'm connecting the digital pins like digital. Next pin goes to for wiring. Click on the terminal and drag it up using the mouse, and then go to by right click uh, by right clicking you can add the wire connection of the wire will be happens click on right click for the curves also to click the right click okay left right next you can see we were added the different types of uh, colors of leds like a different types of loops right uh, the next terminal should be connected to the ground so go to the terminals option select a ground next each and every led connect a ground so you can also make the commonize and also you can connect it makes some more messy so i'm connecting each and every ground to the each and every terminal of the led okay next coming to Next, go to the again, go to selection mode. We have to connect the GSM terminals. <coughs> According to here, this uh, thing, this is our circuit diagram, whether we are connecting the pin number is 13 and 12 to the TX and RX. And also having these things are known as the virtual monitors, which are the, which can be, uh, whether we can, uh, GSM is used to receive and send the message. So to send the message to on the LED, we are not having the any SIM card regarding this that. So we'll uh, in the virtual monitor, we'll press A or B or C to on the LEDs. So in the same regarding this uh, thing, we are using the two virtual monitors and also the, uh, we connect the pins like 13 and 12 the 13 pin is going, uh, 12 pin is going for the RA, uh, TX and the 13 pin is going for the RX. In the same way connect, whether you want to connect in the another pins also, you can also connect, uh, no issues uh, regarding the pin connection. In the code, you have to change the pins. So I'm connecting RX and next TX. Now, we have to have the two virtual monitors, right? One is for Arduino and one is for, uh, whether we are uh, seeing for the Arduino and one is for the, from the GSM to on the LEDs, to turn on the LEDs. So, go to the terminal, terminal node in the instrumentations and take a virtual terminal, place it here and next one for here. Okay. Now we can see in our circuit diagram, we were mentioned that RX is connected to TX, whether we want to receive the data from here, right? So we are connecting RX to TX and the, here you can see the TX and RX are they were there here and the one and the zero. So I'm connecting RX to the RX. and the TX to TX. RX TX completed. Next, connect the, uh, this TX to RX. Completed everyone. After completing these things, we have to do uh, the coding regarding this thing but before uh, making the code we have to know the things to run uh, 
before this is the play uh, this is a simulation button before running the simulation button uh, it will show that the there is a no any x file i'll show you in the error uh, it is a real time error and also the uh, x file is this a property is defined as is not having the x file right uh, or every Arduino Arduino from when you are uh, uploading the code regarding to the Arduino or any board it will generate an x file to upload to the Arduino or ESP board in the same way we have to select the path for the x file we have to give the x file path and also in a each and every module the produce uh, simulation having the uh, each and every X file generated to according to their libraries. So click on the module and go to the edit option. I'm making it from again from the starting. Uh, just right click on the module and go to the edit properties. In the edit properties, you're having the files. Oh, it may be closed because. In the edit properties, you have in the file names. This is a GSM file. It is the redirected to the my GSM library for the produce. Just select, click on open. Click on OK. My one of the file which was we created that is closing because my system somewhat slowed down. So uh, after adding the after adding the hex file to the GSM, we have to add the X file to the uh, Arduino also. And I will show my program, the program we were having the, my file have the program, we will add the program here. When you are when you are making this, uh, we are not uploading the program. You are only just compiling the program. Before compiling the pro program, we have to select what is the board we are using. We are using the board like Arduino, right? Uh, go to Arduino, select Arduino Uno. Next, before making, we have to get the X file generation. So uh, for X file generation, you have to go to, we have to change some settings in the Arduino. Just go to the preference. Preference, select this uh, showing like uh, compile option is you have to select the checkbox and uh, click on OK. Next, compile the code. In this term, the X file path. This is the X file path. Just copy the X file path. Copy the X file path. Go to produce simulation software. And, uh, sorry. Le left click on the module. You'll get the program file here. I'm breaking the first one. Paste. And click on OK. Just run the program. I'm running the program here. You can see there are the two virtual terminals are open. One is belongs to for the uh, GSM and one another belongs to the Arduino. Just in the code we are defined this A is on for the LED should on from starting from D6 to D5. Like it should be blinked from uh, D6, D7 and D5 and D3. So I'm on uh, like clicking in the virtual terminal as A. You can see the LEDs were toggled. The D's, uh, 
the blue LED was toggled. You can see that the AD commands is equal to one. Okay, uh, the number is given. Uh, in the uh, we are having not having the same and models in the hardware. So we are directly in the program. Just I'm telling that Arduino to print the data in the virtual terminal. So it is printing the terminal. It's filling the uh, data. So thing I'm, uh, I was earning the next LED like blue. This again going to have adding the uh, doggling the LED as LED, yellow color. Just click on C option. Uh, C. You can see that both LEDs were on, uh, like uh, yellow and the next D four, D3 and the D4 LEDs were on. Just by clicking A, it will uh, toggle the LED as. Uh, DC, DC right in the using this process we can make the virtual process uh, regarding the load control P I uh, think in the code Can also add D also is there, so we are press D. D for switching off the LEDs. Just clicking of A, it will uh, toggle the LEDs. You can see uh, we are sending a message to the GSM to toggle the LED of the load D6. Uh, suppose to on any LEDs regarding, so I'm clicking C. There were the two loads were on because in the code we written the when you click C we have to toggle the LEDs of the two. In the same procedure we can also make the make the uh, projects and uh, also regarding not only GSM we can also perform the projects regarding the webcams uh, or uh, CCTV programs any programs will be done in using this. Produce simulation. We will go to the next project regarding the reading of sensor data. Okay, I'm saving it. I'll show you that my next project. This the project belongs to the uh, con uh, with the security of your home. Using the keypad, the in the Yeah, okay. Just I'm opening the, uh, my project, wait it until it fits open. Hmm. This is my project. Whether you can also make a, a, your home to be secure, everyone uh, thinks to make our home is in a secure mode in this. Uh, Produce simulation. Produce in this simulation, we are mentioning the Arduino. So Arduino ID, uh, the sorry, not Arduino. Or we are using Arduino Euro and the keypad. In the keypad, uh, it will represent that it is a secure password. When you enter a secure password, we may enter a password. Uh, when you enter a password, it will should open the doors of your uh, house or any lockers, anything. And also, if any person want to unlock your lock, uh, whether it will type any wrong password in a three times or one time, it will directly send a message using the GS. Right. Also, you can also make the uh, projects regarding agriculture projects with uh, using GSM, uh, like uh, ordering the pumps by using messages or calls. And also, you can also make the load controlling system using this uh, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, or uh, and also you can uh, make the things in a uh, voice command by using the voice command also you can on the LEDs but can, for these things you have to use the uh, version should be in the uh, higher version like uh, 8.15 it is a previous version like a 10.15 also is there install the version should be in the higher more higher thing you can get the uh, additional features of the produce in the additional of the produce you will also get a mobile uh, in the 
in this side, you will also get a mobile. Whether you can on the LEDs by using a thing uh, in the hardware, you can uh, demonstrate. But in the software, you can't demonstrate the connection of the Bluetooth. So it will give you a mobile in the uh, worksheet, the side of a worksheet. So before running this project, every project when you are running any project, the Arduino tab should be on, uh, open, and uh, X file should be uh, add in Excel, X file path should be added when you open a project, when you close a project, and reopen also, you have to add the X file. Okay. Uh, next, regarding with this code, we go to the code. This I will go to the code option. Uh, whether I check whether my code is where I was saved. Uh, this is my code. I'm uh, opening the code. This is my whole code of regarding this project. Just compiling the code. Uh, it will verify my code. Ah, it compiles. Uh, showing that is the, it is done compiled. Now to see whether the file X file. We can see this is the hex file is generated here. Just copy the hex file here. From here, yeah, I'm copying my hex file. Sorry. Uh, this is my hex file. When you're copying the X file also, we have to uh, copy the text which are there in the inside of the uh, double quotes. Just click on the left click on the properties and go to the edit option. In the edit option, Click on OK. You can see the X file is added here. Next, and also add the X file regarding the pro GSM. Next, I'm running the project. Here it is showing the enter the password. Uh, actually, my password is one, two, three, four. The, for the entering, we are using the hash. So one, two, and three, two, and three hash. It is showing there is a correct password, but when you enter a wrong password, device is connected uh, I'm ending in a wrong password it shows a wrong password and it will shows that it allows the person unknown person is trying to open the door okay uh, as of now this was completed the class uh, regarding any questions or any uh, doubts regarding the class of the produce simulation. Hello. Thank you, Charan, for giving Thank a detailed, you. detailed explanation about this uh, software, uh, Charan. Yes, sir. Charan, can you hear my voice? Yes, sir. Charan? My voice is audible. Okay. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Small, small dot I'm having, Charan. Whether this protein software is an open source software or it is a it is a paid version, Charan? Uh, it is a paid version software. You have to uh, whether you're having the uh, college mail, you can get the request. Okay, okay, okay. That means uh, uh, try uh, even uh, for you using the domain name of uh, uh, college mail ID, we can able to use this software. Uh, freely can use. This. Okay, that means we have to enter with the college domain, correct? Like, yes. uh, okay, yes, okay. Sir. Then uh, one more That's thing I'm having because, okay. Right now, you said you, you, you shown the one project using the uh, interfacing of uh, Arduino with a uh, Uno board with a keypad, and we have been using the thing. For the program, we are, we are opening the Arduino. Then uh, that point, I was not clar having clarity. How we are linking the program with uh, Arduino? Can you tell that point alone, please? Uh, we are linking the project using the X file. 
एक्सपाइल ओके एक्सपाइल जस्ट वी आर कॉपिंग द पाथ ऑफ द प्रोग्राम ऑफ द ऑडियो ओके वी हैव टू कॉपी द फाइल पाथ ऑफ द ऑडियो वेयर यू हैव टू पेस्ट इट चरण इन दिस वी हैव टू पेस्ट इन द ऑडियो in the proteus okay. having the properties of the ordino in the oh. uh, properties okay. you have to paste the uh, path fantastic okay got it got it okay i think uh, good uh, it is one type of eye opener for us because that is a good today we have been taken good topic thank you charan for me for your clarifying us thank you okay. sir any questions yeah thank you charan uh, for your wonderful presentation for the day thank you i would like to th- i would like to thank our management principal dr jvr ravindran hod of triple e nit for conducting this workshop on pdp program for all the faculties and students and it's a great pleasure and great environment for learning uh, new skills in iot and its uh, softwares and applications and its stimulation tools so we have a wonderful sessions and thanks for all the resource person who help us to learn throughout this six days and thank you everyone for joining this session for the day uh, uh mohammed sir shall i speak for two minutes sir uh, yes sir yes sir Yes, sir. Actually, thank you for uh, uh, conducting organizing this kind of uh, courses for the benefit of the student as well as working professional from the academic uh, point of view. Sir, actually, uh, we uh, Vardhaman College has been a front runner for delivering the training program for the needed for the industries. So, very thank, uh, very thank for taking this kind of initiatives. Uh, this initiatives is very good for the students as well as working people. so i am thanking the management of vardhaman college and uh, kid goes to the hod of the department uh, karupaya sir who has been front runner who has been coordinating with each and every day with uh, nsic and very happy that nsic a part being a part of the thing nsic has been delivered the training program uh, very good to see that uh, from day 1 to day 6 uh, we had a systematic planning of the training program i want to take this opportunity to thank my subject expert especially prabhu sir uh, prabhu has made a very wonderful efforts in making us to understand the node mcu with uh, having interfacing with uh, uh, firebase as well as he has been done wonderful job on making the, us to understand bluetooth interface as well as uh, gps model so he has been uh, taken lot of uh, efforts in making us to deliver the program and making us to understand because in one hour uh, it is difficult it is very challenging for us and prabhu has done very fantastically uh, to making uh, us to understand thank you prabhu for giving your uh, time and making us to understand very simpler form thank you prabhu thank you very much sir for uh... and uh, so finally finally i want to thank uh, uh, today session taken by mr charan because the protees is a very uh, well expertise in this thing so charan also taken the within short duration he made a couple of project and demonstrated to us thank you charan for your wonderful support which has been extended to us today thank you charan and prabhu thank you sir thank you and thank you all the participants who have been rendered your service for six days and uh, from nsic point of view i'm conveying my sincere thanks to my uh, expert Uh, prabhu as well as charan and uh, varun also and uh, conveying my thanks to all my team members of nsic for giving wonderful support to my team members and thank you for all the participants who have been participating in this training program thank you sir thank you bilal sir for giving this opportunity for us you welcome sir thank you for your uh, time and efforts to make this program very successful thank you sir